to DeFi, DGen, Strip, and Farm for Poverty, where on this channel, our vision is to empower the impoverished by helping you find financial freedom through crypto assets. Please subscribe and leave a comment and a thumbs up. Hey guys, welcome back to DeFi, DGen, Strip, and Farm for Poverty. So today we are going to be talking about the uh, sky is falling, chicken little running around with their head cut off that we're still minting tokens. Uh, remember, we talked about this back on June 5th, 1st. When was the first day we started minting tokens? Um, June 2nd. So as of right now, we're at 100, one, 184,000 uh, additional tokens printed since June 2nd. Now, we're going to go into details what this means for Drip, where we're at, where it can go, what my, my hypothesis or projections are, short term, long term, and a couple questions to ask yourself. So granted, the thumbnail might be uh, clickbaity screaming that the sky is falling, but uh, TLDR is that there's no reason for alarm. So first, let's get into um, the status of the minting Drip tokens. So as you may know, if you're in Drip, uh, or if you just got in, Drip was had a hard cap of 1 million. Technically, it wasn't hard because the contract is able to print uh, or mint, I should say, tokens uh, if the uh, tax vault is depleted and there's not enough to uh, mint out or pay, pay rewards. So this is the tax wallet here. I pulled it up, or the contract, I should say. It's not really a wallet. And... Uh, you can zoom out. I, I zoomed in just so you can see the difference. But basically, ever since the Animal Farm paused, um, we pretty much had, uh, we were trading kind of sideways while things were bullish. Once the Animal Farm paused here, we pretty much ran out of buy pressure. That's the reason why this tax vault actually uh, ends up running out of tokens is because people are selling and those um, tokens uh, end up being removed from the vault because nobody's buying to have the taxes go back into the vault. So we essentially depleted the contract here on the first through the second. So we were having this 24,000, 24,000. There was a big sell here down to 5,000. And then we hit rock bottom at 50 and pretty much have been printing as needed um, whatever tokens to pay out the sellers. Uh, we had this little run up when we had the spike on the chart in here that correlates to all the buys. We're going to talk about that later, but there was basically about uh, more than $300,000 worth of uh, buys that came back in. So that pushed the tokens up from 1400 to 60000 So that was a nice rally. We 5X the number of tokens in the contract just because there was about $300,000, $400,000 worth of buys that came in, uh, but that wasn't enough to sustain it. So we've traded sideways or down ever since. And in total, we have minted uh, 184,000. So that's the status. What is the projection? Where can we go from here? Well, good question. It will all depend on when the animal farm unpauses or when we get more buy pressure. So the utility is what's needed and um the cmo that forex hired to basically get more people to want to buy in at these prices right now even people that have been in drip aren't spending any more money in drip or in the ecosystem because there's nowhere to put it and it's been down and to the right for four or five months so a lot of people want to see reversals in a uh, a chart oops i need that there a chart to before they buy back in so even the whales or smart money or big money sitting on the side or anything like that so even if the argument is that it's uh you know ponzi nomics still until we get more utility even the existing money in the system is not buying back in until some kind of announcement and that's what we had here was an announcement about the dog roulette and things were closer to being done but then we traded sideways and nothing launched yet so um the projection goes with this so i made a hypothesis basically um showing the balance and the total we have when it started till today that's 26 days and we have minted a average of uh 7100 drip per day to pay out the um rewards 
So if that continues, our supply on July 1 will be 1.2 million, July 7th, 1.2 and a half, so on and so on, using this exact number, because technically the cell uh, pressure has been the same for the entire time the farm has been paused. So I started here, and this is 102 days, and it's basically been like an average of 1.19% uh, uh, decrease every day. So it's been a gradual decrease. And when I did it from in here where we had the buy off, uh, the big buy to here, it was 1.14. So um, these additional buys that pop in have basically allowed uh, less than a 2% and closer to 1% sell off every day. That's not a lot. So we don't have any big red candles, even with the farm being paused. So this speculation is um, a good uh, analysis that it could go this direction depending again on how long the farm stays paused because like I said there's no reason for new people to get in there are some people who have indicated that they're waiting on the sidelines for a five dollar drip seven dollar drip and that can result in the exact same buy pressure that we had um, in here where we had that big push up so I ran the numbers here for these uh, two days and I only took the buys that were two thousand five hundred dollars or more added them up here and that came out to three hundred thirty four thousand dollars so i'm gonna just be generous and say that was about 400 grand in two days and that 400 grand gave us a price appreciation in the chart of 30 percent so from the bottom to the top 400 grand pushed us up 30 percent so that's where i got this number from on this sheet to basically say if there's another 400 grand that comes in which is definitely reasonable to believe uh, because people will FOMO when they see big red can big green candles and of course new marketing uh, with the CMO so it's not illogical to believe that that we could see a very similar buy because we've seen it actually multiple times in the chart um, back here back here so there is money sitting on the sidelines and there is a lot of capital that can be injected into drip so let's break this chart down now now that you understand so basically if nothing happens and we continue the existing sell-off and no utilities added and nobody buys back in we will see this 1.19 percent average decrease um, i got that from the 102 days that i i looked at the charts and um that would mean let's just go all the way out to a month from now we'd be sitting at a five dollar drip however at any point in time in this chart, if any if we have a 30% buy, we can shoot back up and that just basically delays the sell off again. So uh, what does that mean for me? Well, it means that you can see that drip is going to trade sideways and stay within this eight to, to $12 range. Um, even if the farm is still paused um, clearly down to here, because you know, we get down to six and a half bucks and then if everything launches and says we're back online and there's a lot more utility that he's already announced in the latest AMA. So I would think this is actually a really modest buy because this was with people buying in with no utility and no additional benefits, no CMO, no uh, extra devs, nothing. So this is very modest in what can happen to the price. So um, the question you have to ask yourself if you're sitting around uh, debating on what to do with drip is um, in are you looking at the short term and in the short term yes there could be more downside downside volatility we can continue uh, going lower because there's nothing to stop the bleeding um, but if you have a long-term time horizon then again let data drive your decisions and it's clear that we will reverse at some stage because we've had enough reversals in here without any additional benefit right so what you have to ask yourself if you're wondering um, what to do is a real simple question. Do you trust Forex to deliver? That's it. If you trust them to deliver, then none of this matters because uh, no matter where we go, we're going to come out of it. And you are missing an opportunity of a lifetime if you're sitting here pondering or trying to get a little bit more drip from a $7.26 range to $6.49. I just showed you what can happen. If you're waiting, let's say you're waiting for seven dollars even, and right around seven twenty-six, seven twenty-four, the whales buy in, or there's a big FOMO. Well, now that seven dollars you're waiting on is nine and a half. So we don't know, but I, I'm, I'm quite sure once he launches a date, and that date is confirmed, and he's doing AMAs and these uh, bigger announcement channels that he was talking about, with websites and stuff like that, that um, the project manager's working on. Um, you can be sure there will be buys 
that will come in. So we don't know when this announcement will come, but once there's one or two buys that come in, or big buys, I should say, it's enough to all of a sudden push this back up and you're gonna miss your opportunity. Um, so not financial advice, but you're missing an opportunity of a lifetime right now. Uh, so the last question I got for you is uh, reference this supply. So a lot of people are worried about the supply and printing new tokens. So let's say this is the worst case scenario and we go out here and we have this many tokens in the price or from what we had before. Here's another question to ask yourself. Do you think Forex can create enough utility and demand to remove these additional tokens with the new use cases and stuff like that that he has? Remember, there is a burn wallet in the contract. Uh, we haven't been using it right here. Uh, he sent 1700, but the new tokenomic structure that he has is trying to send it to the tax vault so that we don't end up with this issue here. So there's a couple of things that can happen so that this is stops becoming an issue once the farms and stuff come online. So he's got new use cases uh, to um, add liquidity back to the tax vault. He did mention also about dogs being, or I'm sorry, drip being burned with the scratchy. And I believe something else in the team UI, uh, the UI for the new animal, the new UI for the drip. Uh, page and something with team incentives and things of that nature that could also help. So this additional drip that you see here is just uh, a red herring, if you will, that you're looking at that may not be a real issue. Yeah, it sucks in the short term, but again, with 1.2, uh, 102,000 members in drip at this stage, and again, all the new use cases and stuff coming on board, uh, what is a drip network? Um, and the um, the team he's building out of this whole thing, um, I have to believe that he can very easily um, remove these additional tokens uh, that we minted while drip has been paused. And once drip is running and the whole system is running in all four cylinders, then uh, that's where you'll have normal buys and sells because there's an entire ecosystem to play and he's got the pigs game and using drip to buy specific pig assets and the dog roulette game and the animal farm and being able to farm pigs with drip BUSD. So short term, yeah, this sucks and this can go down more. So you just got to zoom out, like they say, win it out, zoom out and um, expand your time horizon and then look at this as an opportunity in disguise that you're not going to see for much longer so i put this all the way out till one july i'm sorry one august basically and even at that with uh one and a half million drip almost um a five dollar drip is barely in the cards and again if at any time from now until this number i hypothesized there's a 30 percent buy it just extends that out and then once the farm comes online and once these announcements start coming out then that removes the sell pressure. Remember, we've had just continuous sell pressure. So that's what you have to look at. It's just standard, not like big sells or anything like that. It's just been continuous 1.19%. We'll call it 1.2% sells every day. Very low volume, 50, 50K volume. So it's this is not bad when you zoom out and look at the entire chart. Yeah, it sucks but it's been paused and been doing this gradual bleed out for five months, 150 days. Um, so that's impressive that it's still going strong as is and holding this range now that we've pretty much found a floor. And again, even with my hypothesis, that floor doesn't change much. So again, what's your time horizon? What are you looking for? Are you gonna take these opportunities or not? I can't convince you otherwise, but hopefully these numbers can give you some data to drive your decisions and help you look at opportunities and uh, risk reward um, in this scenario. So I just like to play with uh, spreadsheets and stuff like that. So um, hopefully it provides some value. Until next time, guys, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya.